there are more than a million known insect species on Earth, with estimates suggesting there could be as many as 10 times more yet to be discovered. As both the most prevalent part of the animal kingdom in terms of numbers and in terms of mass, you're never too far away from a bug wherever you are on Earth. Insects have had to develop their own unique defense and hunting techniques, and some have evolved poisonous capabilities. From cute bees to things that look far more menacing, these are the top 15 most poisonous bugs. Number 15. Oak Processionary Caterpillar Oak processionary caterpillars are the larval form of a species of moth that's native to regions across Europe. Growing to less than an inch or a couple of centimeters long, they get their name because of the way they feed exclusively on oak trees, and you'll rarely see one on its own. Instead, they move around in long convoys with the front of one up against the rear of another. This species is responsible for large-scale destruction of oak trees, and many millions of dollars are spent each year to try to control their spread. But the most significant danger they pose is the means by which they defend themselves against predators. When the caterpillars have fully grown, they develop as many as 63,000 bristles on their backs, similar to those of tarantulas, and each one of these contains a toxin called thalmedipian. These bristles easily detach when they're touched, and if they make contact with human skin, can cause severe rashes and itching. Furthermore, it's quite possible for these hairs to become airborne, which can lead to conjunctivitis if they land near the eye, or severe respiratory issues if they're breathed in. For people with allergies, oak processionary caterpillars can even be deadly because their hairs can trigger an anaphylactic response, which, if not treated, can be fatal. Number 14. Asian Giant Hornet Asian giant hornets are the largest species of hornet on Earth, with a body that can grow up to almost 2 inches or 4.5 centimeters long, and a wingspan of 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters wide, and a stinger that measures a quarter of an inch or half a centimeter long. Originally native to regions across America, the species has now spread further around the globe, even as far as America, and they're often called murder hornets because of the potential threat they pose to people. Not only do they have a much larger stinger than bees or wasps, but they use it to inject a particularly potent venom called mestoparan. The sting, said to be the most painful of any stinging insect, releases the venom directly into the bloodstream, where it interferes with the action of certain enzymes and risks causing anaphylactic shock and potentially cardiac arrest. Fortunately, not enough venom is injected in a single sting to be deadly, but in China, it's advised that you seek medical attention if you receive 10 or more stings. In these cases, there may be signs of skin hemorrhaging and necrosis, which can eventually lead to mass organ failure as a result. One of the most troubling things about these hornets, though, is that they don't even need to sting you to hurt you. There's evidence to suggest they're able to spray the venom from their stingers, too. And if this happens to get into your eyes, it's possible that you'll suffer from long-term impairment of vision. Number 13. Blister Beetle There are thought to be around 7,500 species of blister beetle, which are found on every continent on Earth apart from Antarctica. Usually no more than an inch or several centimeters long, they're usually brightly colored, which in the animal kingdom is usually a warning that there's a nasty surprise waiting for anything that decides to try to touch or eat the animal. In the case of blister beetles, this danger comes from the presence of a chemical called cantharidin, which insects secrete over their entire bodies as a means of defense. If it makes contact with the skin, it will almost immediately cause blisters to develop, which will be extremely painful for days unless they subside. The chemical is so powerful that it's actually collected for medicinal purposes and is often used to treat and remove warts. One of the main problems with blister beetles is their prevalence and their size, and they're often caught up by farmers collecting food for their livestock. Some species are particularly deadly to horses, for example, and just a few individuals in a bale of hay could be costly. There's very little research or evidence of what would happen if a human were to eat a blister beetle, but the most likely outcome would be severe pains throughout the digestive tract and potentially even death if a number of individuals are consumed at the same time. Number 12. Red Velvet Ant Despite the way they look and the name, red velvet ants aren't actually a type of ant and are instead a species of wasp. Native to the eastern United States, the confusion often comes from the fact that the females of the species don't develop wings, but they most certainly do have a stinger with a particularly potent venom. Growing to around three quarters of an inch or just under two centimeters long, they're identified by the velvet-like hairs that grow over their bodies and their black and red coloration. Normally in the wild, they're quite docile and don't pose too much of a threat, but all this changes when they feel like they're in danger. It doesn't take much for them to adopt a defensive posture, and to begin with, they start squeaking to try to warn predators to stay away. If this doesn't work, they're very quick, so they'll try to evade the danger. 
but when they feel they absolutely have no choice, they'll sting. Said to be one of the most painful wasp stings you could ever experience, they're also known as cow killers because of the shock of the sting has been known to be so traumatic that it led to a heart attack. In humans, this is far less likely, but for people that have an allergy to bee or wasp venom, red velvet ants can quite easily trigger anaphylactic shock, which can itself potentially be deadly. Number 11. Arizona Bark Scorpion Closely related to spiders, mites, and ticks, scorpions are classified as a type of arachnid, with eight legs, two pincers, and of course, the stinger on their tails. There are almost 2,000 known species of scorpion in the world, with as many as 40 that are potentially lethal to humans, and one of the most dangerous of all is the Arizona Bark Scorpion. Native to California, Arizona, New Mexico, and parts of Mexico, these light brown animals grow to around three and a quarter inches, or about eight centimeters long. As a nocturnal species, they tend to hide in the shade during the day, only emerging at night to hunt small animals, and have an extremely potent venom to help them do this. In humans, a single sting can cause extreme pain at the site, as well as numbness and vomiting. This can last for several days, depending on where you're stung. And it can also cause difficulties with breathing, temporary paralysis of a limb, and the sensation of electric bolts shooting through the body. It's thought that as many as 100,000 people are stung by Arizona bark scorpions each year, and while medical treatment has radically improved in the past decades, there are still several deaths that are attributed to them in cases where the victim isn't able to reach a hospital in time. Number 10. Tarantula Hawk One of the most painful stings in the animal kingdom, as rated by researchers who endure the sensation to rank them in order, comes from the Tarantula Hawk, which is the name given to several hundred species of parasitic wasps that are found across the world. They've developed a venom that's debilitating, but purposefully not deadly, and this is crucial to their life cycles. Their main use for it is to sting tarantulas, which are then paralyzed, and gives the wasp enough time to drag its victim back to its nest, where it'll then lay an egg inside the body. The tarantula will be alive for the entire time that the larvae develops, and provide food for it when it finally hatches, and will only die once enough of its internal organs have been consumed. The wasps themselves typically grow to around 2 inches, or 5 centimeters long, and will do everything they can to avoid stinging a human, but sometimes they're left with no choice. The intense pain this causes won't last more than 5 or 10 minutes and won't cause any further medical problems except to people who are allergic, in which case anaphylactic shock can occur, which in itself can be deadly. Number 9. Rove Beetle There are more than 622 known species of Pteris rove beetles around the world, with 20 of them found to produce a powerful chemical that's said to be the most powerful animal contact toxin on Earth, and one that's 12 times more potent than the venom of a cobra. The unassuming insects grow to around a quarter of an inch or one centimeter long and are identifiable by the blue coloration of their segments, which alternate between a metallic blue and bright red. They're often seen in the full glare of the sunlight, but are active during both day and night, where they feed on plant matter. These beetles aren't able to bite or sting, but have large quantities of a compound called pterin all over their bodies, which, rather than being made by themselves, is actually the result of the presence of a symbiotic bacteria that lives inside them. Pterin can interfere with the way that cells multiply and is extremely toxic, which means it can be painful if it then makes contact with the skin, either by accidentally touching a beetle or, in the worst case, crushing one up against yourself. This leads to a condition called pteris dermatitis, which develops a day or so after contact and presents as a rash, followed by blistering and lesioning. The danger with this amount of time between contact and symptomology means that it's easy to unknowingly spread it to other parts of the body, too. And once the markings do develop, it takes several weeks for them to dissipate. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Africanized Bee there have been several times when humans have taken upon themselves to create hybrids between different species of animal, but there's perhaps none as consequential as the Africanized bee. Created by introducing populations of Eastern African lowland honeybees with European honeybees, the resulting species was accidentally released in Brazil in 1957 and has since gone on to spread across the Americas. What makes Africanized bees different to others is their extreme defensive tactics, which see them react to perceived threats far faster than other species do. Swarms inflict as much as 10 times or more stings than honeybees, and it's this that makes them so dangerous. 
While each individual delivers a venomous sting that's no more powerful than any other bee sting, the volume of venom that can enter your body in a short period of time is significantly higher, and this increases the likelihood of serious health complications, like heart failure and anaphylaxis. Since they were first released, Africanized bees have been linked to at least a thousand human fatalities, although the number is believed to be far greater, along with countless deaths of livestock. Number 7. Bullet Ant Bullet ants, which are scientifically known as Paraponera clavata, are a species that's native to South America, in particular Nicaragua, Honduras, and Paraguay. But wherever on the continent there's a rainforest, the chances are there's a colony nearby. With workers that grow to around 1.2 inches or about 3 centimeters long, they are a reddish-black in color and live in colonies at the base of trees with as many as several hundred individuals. They are a highly predatory species and rely on their stings to incapacitate small insects like butterflies and even small mammals or rodent species. To do this, they have a venom that contains a toxin called pornarotoxin, and while this is deadly to animals of a similar size to them, it's also extremely painful to larger animals like ourselves. In fact, the sting of a bullet ant is ranked among the most excruciating sting of any animal, and is described as being similar to walking over flaming charcoal with three inches of nails embedded in your heel. People who have experienced it often describe it as feeling the same as being shot, which is where the species gets its name, and beyond the initial reaction, which can last for up to a day, victims can also suffer inflammation of the lymph nodes, fluid retention, and an irregular heartbeat. Number 6. Assassin Fly not to be mistaken for the assassin bug, the assassin fly is a highly aggressive species of predatory flying insect that's native to all regions on Earth apart from Antarctica. There are more than 7,500 known species, and they're also known as robber flies because of their ability to capture other insects while they're still in flight. Growing up to 2 inches or about 5 centimeters in length, they look elongated in comparison to other flies, and this is partly to make it easier for them to hold on to their prey. It's not just their strength that they use to overcome their victims, though, because they also have a proboscis that punctures the skin of the target and injects a series of neurotoxins and enzymes that'll quickly kill small animals. While this developed as a means of catching prey, they will also use their proboscis as a defensive measure, and while they don't actively seek out humans, they will definitely bite if they feel threatened. The toxins they inject aren't potent enough to kill someone, but will definitely give you a nasty shock probably cause a rash and numb patch around the puncture that will take several weeks to fully heal. Number 5. Scolopendra subspinipes There are thought to be as many as 8,000 species of centipede on Earth, of which 3,000 have so far been identified, and of those, one of the largest and most dangerous is the Scolopendra subspinipes. It's a species that can be found across Eastern Asia in countries like Malaysia and Indonesia and is also spread to tropical areas elsewhere around the world. Typically growing to about 8 inches or 20 centimeters long, they're reddish-brown in color and have yellowish legs. Their bodies are made up of 22 segments, each of which has a pair of legs, and they are vicious predators, with venom glands connected to their sharp claws to quickly incapacitate their prey. These centipedes normally hunt spiders, rodents, and small mammals, but will also use their venom against potential predators as a means of defense. This means that despite being popular pets for people who like to keep large insects, they have to be treated very carefully to avoid being bitten. There's at least one case where a Scolopendra subspinipes has been known to kill a person after biting a young girl on the head, but they've also been linked to several injuries whereby people are cut open by the claws, and their toxins have prevented the blood from clotting properly. With an intense burning sensation, it can be necessary to seek medical attention following a bite by one, and even if it's not that serious, it's a deeply unpleasant thing to experience. Number 4. Indian Red Scorpion The Indian Red Scorpion, which is also known as the Eastern Indian Scorpion, is one of the most dangerous species of scorpion in the world, responsible for several deaths per year. They're native to areas across India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and live in a range of habitats, including scrublands, jungles, and desert regions. Growing to a maximum of around 3.5 inches or about 9 centimeters long, they tend to be dark orange in color with lighter tones on their legs. They're a fairly aggressive species that won't think twice about striking when they feel threatened, and their venom contains a range of different toxins that target the cardiovascular and respiratory systems. Soon after a sting, you can expect to develop symptoms such as extreme pain, vomiting, profuse sweating, discoloration of the skin, and abnormal heart rhythms. You also may start coughing up a pink substance and have significant change in blood pressure, and may fall unconscious. 
While severe, it's unlikely that a single sting will deliver enough venom to kill a person, but it's possible, and medical attention is recommended for anyone who has been subjected to one. Death usually happens because of the inability to breathe or because of heart failure. And despite there being no anti-venom for this species, there's a cocktail of drugs that are administered that helps to lessen the effects. Number 3. Saddleback Caterpillar if you're walking through woodlands in the United States, you may well see a saddleback caterpillar on a branch, and while your first instinct might try to be to pick it up, this would be a big mistake. It's the larval form of a fairly unremarkable species of brown moth, but while it's a caterpillar, it is a surprisingly colorful creature. With a bright green and red body that looks like a saddle has been placed over it, it also has some rather ominous-looking fleshy horns at either end. These are the parts you need to be most careful of, because they're covered in a series of almost invisible hairs that contain one of the most toxic caterpillar toxins of all. These hairs are present along the rest of the body, too, and can easily be broken by just brushing past one. If they make contact with your skin, you can expect to develop a serious rash and potentially even headaches or conjunctivitis that can last for several days. A further danger is the ability for these hairs to be released into the air. If you happen to breathe them in, you'll start to experience breathing difficulties and potentially anaphylactic shock. One of the reasons the saddleback caterpillar poses such a danger is that they are attracted to plant species that are normally grown as ornamental displays, and this means that the gardeners that tend to these plants can quite often come into contact with one. Luckily, the toxins won't kill you, but they'll definitely make things unpleasant for a week or so. Number 2. Harvester Ant the term harvester ant is used to describe many hundreds of different species of ant that collect seeds and plant material to take back to their nests. These are seen as a vital part of most ecosystems, responsible for helping plants to spread their seeds and acting as one of the lower rungs of the food chain. But this doesn't mean that each individual is a complete walkover. In fact, for their size, they have some of the most potent venom of any animal. This has predominantly developed as a defense mechanism because they rarely prey upon living animals. When a threat is detected, a number of individuals will selflessly put their lives on the line to protect the rest of the colony and will bite down on their target to hold themselves in place before delivering a successive number of stings from their abdomen. In humans, this injects enough toxin to cause an intense burning sensation for a number of hours, as well as rashes and sweating around the affected area, something that's normally enough to make you reconsider whether you'll ever disturb a harvester ant again. Number 1. Sydney Funnel Web Spider Spiders are the most feared animals on the planet, and while it's described as a phobia, which is an irrational fear, there are some species that it's completely appropriate to be concerned about. Currently, the one with the most potent venom that we know about is the Sydney funnel-web spider, a species that's native to eastern Australia. Their bodies grow to around 2 inches or about 5 centimeters long, and they're blue-black, black, or brown in color. As with other funnel-web spiders, they dig burrows in the ground and lay in wait for their prey to pass by, at which point they burst out, sink their fangs in to deliver a dose of venom, and then slowly drag the victim back to their hole. While this is extremely effective against small animals, the proteins that are present in the venom are particularly effective against primates such as ourselves and can be fatal within just hours of a bite. That's because of the presence of a compound called delta attractotoxin, which inhibits the action of the central nervous system. Male Sydney funnel web spiders will inject as much venom as possible with each bite, and sometimes won't even let go afterwards. Left with two clear puncture marks on the skin, victims will experience symptoms like nausea, muscle twitching, breathing difficulties, and disorientation within an hour, and death can occur soon after. Fortunately, there is an anti-venom that's available, but it needs to be administered as soon as possible to have any chance of helping. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.